first big classic trial of the season next then it's the Neil Gwynn first one here today at Newmarket it's a seven furlong group three and the top one is Orvita Bleu for Dan Hughes promo for Daniel French Royal Seamstress for Jim Murray Specimen for Red Eyes Unworldly Beauty for Leon Van Rensburg Why is the Cape Gone Joshua Sutherland and Wondrous for Satyam so a pretty small field and quite a few of the big name trainers missing from this one so opportunity for somebody maybe to Stake a claim to the Guinea's crown next week. They're all in and ready to go. And away they go then. Racing away on this first today at Newmarket. A little bit slow to go was Royal Seamstress, but the grey or Vita Blur has gone into an early lead immediately. Pressed though by Wondrous in the yellow jacket. And Wondrous is going to go on and settle down in the lead by about a length. Royal Seamstress has made up for that tardy start and has now moved through into second. On that one's inside is Promo, the grey. Um, Orvita Blur's just dropped back a little bit on the outside of that one is Why is the Cape Gone? Then we've got Unworldly Beauty and the back marker is Specimen. So they're already through towards the final four and a half furlongs then and Wondrous is now being challenged by Royal Seamstress there. A couple of lengths clear of Promo on the inside with the red cap and the blue jacket in third. On the outside boys, the Cape Gone is now making a forward move with Orvita Blur also being pulled out to make a run is Unworldly Beauty. The one that's struggling at the back is Specimen but it's still Wondrous in the lead as they come down towards the three furlong mark. Wondrous in the lead then. Royal Seamstress on the outside, making a good forward move there. Now, too, is why is the cake on looking for a bit of racing room? Is Orvita Blur and right wider on the track? Still, is Unworldly Beauty promo is still there as well. They're bunching up up front, and now Royal Seamstress has gone on being pressed immediately by why is the cake gone? Why is the cake gone in the lead? The grey Orvita Blur has now got a clear run through, and Orvita Blur is coming to challenge. Why is the cake gone? These two are in a ding dong battle as they race towards the final furlong. Unworldly Beauty is taking a while to get going on the outside, but it's Orvita Blur on the inside who's got the lead by about a head and about by about a neck as they race up towards a shadow of the line, it's Orvita Blur and Orvita Blur looks like he's going to take the now win, Orvita Blur wins it was a game, one second, Orvita Blur third and then Royal Seamstress was four, Promo was five and then Specimen and finally Wondrous, that's Orvita Blur might not be one for one of the more fashionable top stables but definitely stakes a claim for the 1000 Guineas next week, not a convincing win by any means but he can do nothing more than win and Orvita Blur wins it for Dan Hughes why is the cake gone Joshua Sutherland second and Worldly Beauty Leo Van Rensburg third Royal Seamstress for Jim Mori was fourth and promo for Daniel French was fifth